Welcome everyone to this video introduction to a career in the electromechanical field. My name is Greg and I'll be your guide throughout this course introduction. Now the objective of this video is simple. We want to answer the question, what the heck does an electrical mechanical degree look like? Well, it looks like this. It's, it's, well, let's move on. Now, in order to understand the field a little bit better, let's Let's first break down the title. Electro. Easy enough. And mechanical. Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out too. Let's just kind of, yeah, that's better. Robots and machines of all shapes and sizes are commonplace in manufacturing circles. Now when a machine starts acting squirrely, we get the call to go out and make it unsquirrely. People uh, interested in electrical or mechanical work, you know, you've got to kind of have the, the niche to want to be able to work with your hands, but also um, figure out what makes things tick, you know, what, what makes them work and how, how do they run and, and how to figure that kind of stuff out. Does that sound interesting? I know when I was working for colleges and stuff and I was graduating high school, I really didn't know what I was going to do. There's some people that knew right off the bat what they wanted to do, but I wasn't one of them. I definitely knew I had a mechanical background when I used to be able to take apart stuff all the time. We like to be able to take something that's not working right, figure it out, fix it, and, and make it work good. Does that sound like you? Let's see what the group likes about the job. My favorite part about it is, is I come into work and I don't know what I'm going to work on that day. It's not monotonous. You're not doing the same thing every day. It's always something different, and for the most part, it's always something challenging. One day you might be replacing a motor. Next day you might be working on a completely automated robot. You're not tied to a desk or anything. You're always out on the floor. You know, I can wake up in the morning and actually know that I'm going to gain a sense of pride and, and joy when I go to my job. You can pretty much go anywhere in the world you want to, do anything you want to. You just got your imagination's the limit. Thanks, gents. All excellent points. Now here's a quick summary of what we have so far. This is a technical field, and the playing field is manufacturing. The job is something new almost daily. It's hands-on and challenging. There is job security, and the list is long and diverse of companies hiring electromechanical workers here at home and abroad. How about some video examples to see the job in action? Here we have electromechanical workers changing the electrical guts of this machine to make it like new. It's called retrofitting. When complete, the machine will operate much faster, more efficient, and with a lot less headaches. And in manufacturing, that's called props, dude. And here is a case of the laser blues. The laser is missing the mark that the computer is asking it to hit. Our job? figure out the problem and realign the laser so that it's hitting all the marks. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of makes you think of a video game, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a gamer, right? <clears throat> Probably not the best example. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Electromechanical workers keep manufacturing machines running. On any given day, you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a gimpy gearbox or a hydraulic hiccup or a blown bearing. There are machines still running gangbusters that have been on the job before, be, well, before vending machines were invented. Seriously, dude, no kidding. A little CPR, the life support, good as new. You know, it's uh, enjoyable to go out there and, and say, what is this? You know, what? who built this thing, you know? And uh, should it even operate, you know? And it does, it's, it's, it's kind of fun to see that. But not everything is old. Around the corner, there could be some state-of-the-art contraption that pulls seven Gs in rapid travel motion. Whoa, that was unheard of not long ago. But that is what is great about the work. It's continuing education while on the job. Now, the mechanical side is the foundation, but as technology goes, so do we go. Now, some days, the job will be a little more mechanical intensive, but other days, more software intensive. As a matter of fact, I was just reminded the other day to be thinking 3D. <laughs> it's cool, yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, your imagination can take you wherever you want to go with this. If you apply yourself and learn it and like working with your hands, like uh, problem solving, you know, the sky is the limit. All right, time out. Time for an icebreaker. I know, it's old school, but the lesson's a good one. Math, the answer's seven. One. 
Well, you get the point. The things that, uh, that I learned in high school that I thought I'd never need to know as a, as a mechanic, you know, they come back and suddenly you're using them again in some pretty, you know, intense uh, calculations that you go through. What makes the turn in axis? What makes the D in 3D? What makes the G in G's? You guessed it, math. The thing about this work is that it is all about precision and math makes things precise. You will be working with machines that measure preciseness to less than the thickness of one hair. Way less! Ow! All right, you know, let's wrap up this video introduction, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with three Ps. Number one, placement. Degree equals the job. 99% placement true. Number two, pay top of the pay scale for technical career jobs. And number three, perks. Employers come here to find employees. And with a diploma in hand, opportunity exists across the country and around the world. Wow, worldwide, that's cool. Well, that does it for now. Thank you for your time and putting up with my wacky self, but I'm gonna leave you with the facilitator for any additional information. So if you got any questions, Ask him now. Catch you guys later.